Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight in Grade 5, in Module 5, we are working on Lesson Number 15, and that means that just like last night, we are solving real-world problems involving area of figures with fractional side lengths using visual models and or equations. In other words, we're solving real-world problems. So let's take a look at one of the three problems from tonight's homework. There are so few problems on tonight's homework that I am not going to entirely do problem number two. Problem number two is here. But I will help you to set up the math sentence that we will use, as well as to think about first uh, how we might be solving this problem. So let's read. Uh, we're still going to use our read, draw, and write strategy. So let's get right to the reading. Uh, let's see. A painting company will paint this wall of a building. Ah, I see it right here. Cool. The owner gives them the following dimensions. Okay, so this is the whole wall. And actually, I can already see the wall looks like it's 33 feet tall and 52 and one half feet wide. And then it looks like there's these cutouts here. So window A is six and one fourth feet by five and three fourths feet. So that's this window right here. And then there's window B right here. That looks smaller. And sure enough, yeah, window B is three and one eighth foot by four feet. Okay. Window C also looks pretty small. Oh, window C, they tell us that the area of that window. They don't give us the dimensions, they just say, it's oh, it's nine and a half feet squared. Oh, okay, well that's good. We don't need to know the dimensions and they've done that math for us. And then it looks like doorway D, door D is four feet by eight feet. Well, that's pretty easy to do. So what is the area of the painted part of the wall? Now, when we do the drawing normally, uh, we don't have a drawing, and this time we have a drawing, but let's imagine just for a second that we thought of this as a tape diagram problem. I think I would draw that tape diagram this way, and I'm going to let you think about this however you'd like. I think that this is the whole, right? This is the, if they had to paint the whole wall, this is the whole thing. And then they're saying, well, but we don't need to paint that little part that's A, and we don't really need to paint that little part that's B, and we don't really need to paint the little part that's C, and we don't need to really paint the little part that's D. What we really want to know is what's left over from the whole wall minus these parts. And that's really what their diagram shows too, right? We need to paint this whole wall, except we don't need to paint that, we don't need to paint that, we don't need to paint that, and we don't need to paint that. So really, if you think about it as the whole wall minus A, minus B, minus C, minus D, then you have all this gray space in between. So let's set up a math sentence that would work. I am not going to solve the whole problem for you, but let's set up a math sentence. And this is going to be a long one, right? So we said the first thing we need to do is we need to start with the whole, right? And that area is, oh, that would be the length times the height here. So let's see. I think the first part of the, part of the math sentence would be 52 and 1 half times 33. And then we need to subtract window A. When, oh, window A is right here. 6 and 1 fourth times 5 and 3 fourths. So let's do that. We need to subtract the area 6 and 1 fourth times 5 and 3 fourths. Awesome. Oh, but we also need to subtract little window B here. Okay, let's do that. How big is window B? Oh, it's 3 and 1 eighth times 4. So 3 and 1 eighth times 4. Okay. Oh, but we also need to subtract that window C. But happily, they've already figured out what that one for us. That's 9 and a half. So we need to subtract 9 and 1 half. And then finally, we need to subtract the doorway, and that's 4 times 8, right? So minus 4 times 8. So basically, we need to take the whole, that's this amount, with these two dimensions. We need to subtract window A, that's this part. Subtract window B, that's this part. Subtract window C, that's this part. And then finally, subtract the doorway, that's this part. And if we do all of that, all of this, figure this out, figure this out, figure this out, figure this out, and figure this out, and do the subtraction. Remember, this is not just the only subtraction. We are subtracting off this piece, and this piece, and this piece, and this piece. If we do all of that, I'm confident of our answer. And the answer that I believe we'll get is 1,642 and 9 sixteenths square feet. So, that's a read, draw, and write strategy at the very end. I'm going to leave it for you to do the math to solve each one of those parts. I know you can do it, but I don't see any point in going through every single tedious step of this part of the math problem, partly because it will rob you of one of three possible homework problems that me or your math teacher may have assigned you today, and I don't want to do any one of them completely. If you show your work and you end up with this, you're in great shape. 
If you show your work and you don't end up with this, I would hope you'd go back and recheck your work. Strong mathematicians do that all the time. And if you've got problem one or problem three, know that problem one is substantially easier than this problem, and problem three is substantially more difficult than this problem. I wish you luck, and I'll see you again the next time on Mr. Kung Has Problems. Bye-bye.